Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you how to create this animated grid in Caden Live, which you can use as a background for clips or some animated graphics. We're also going to make a vertical version later on in the video, so feel free to take a look at the chapters and let's get right into it. So let's start by going to the project bin and adding a new color clip. Set the color to black and let's change the duration to something like 30 seconds. Hit OK and drag it into your timeline. Select your clip, go to the effects window and search for Cairo gradient, then drag it into the effect stack like this. Let's change the pattern to radial and then drag the end X and end Y sliders all the way down. Next, increase the end opacity to 100% and set the start opacity to something around 30%. Alright, now select the start color and change it to anything you like. I'll go with this dark blue. And as for the end color, we're going to pick the same one as previously, except that we'll use this slider on the right to make it slightly darker. So now we have this gradient background, and when you look at the viewer, you'll notice some banding between these two colors. This is only visible inside of Caden Life. You won't see it when you render your project, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's go to the project bin, grab the same color clip, and drag it into the second video track. Click on the clip to select it, then go to the effects window and search for draw a grid. Apply the effect to your clip, and change the grid color to white. Now we can move these sliders to adjust the look of your grid. So I'm going to set the value of width and height to 120, and then I'll increase the X and Y offset to something like 60. You can also change the thickness of your grid if you want, but I think the default value looks just right. All right, now let's navigate to the timeline and click on this point that shows up in between these two color clips. This will apply a wipe composition over your clips. So let's go to the effect stack and change the composition type to screen. And now we have this white grid on top of our color gradient. Let's go to the effects window, search for the glow effect and apply it to the top color clip. I'm going to zoom in on the viewer so that you guys can see the difference. Now we can go to the effect stack and move the blur slider to the right to increase the glow radius. I think something between 80 and 90 looks good. Once you're done, go back to the effects window and search for the fish, apply the effect to your clip and then drag the amount slider to the right to create some distortion. And now we're going to add one more effect, so search for vignette and drag it into the effect stack. Next, decrease the softness to something like 520 and then move the aspect ratio slider to the left until you notice that the top and bottom edges of the screen are getting darker. Okay, now let's scroll up to see the controls for the grid effect and use this timeline right here to move the playhead all the way to the end. Then click this stopwatch icon to add the keyframe and increase the value of X offset to move the grid. So now if you go to the beginning of your timeline and start the playback, you'll see that the grid is moving from left to right, which makes it a nice background that you can use in your videos. Alright, that's cool, but let's say that you want to reuse this grid in multiple videos and you don't want to repeat all these steps every time. What you can do is select the top color clip, go to the effects stack and click on this button that says save effect stack. Now we can give it a name, so let's type grid background. Hit OK and confirm by clicking save. Now let's remove this color clip and select the remaining one. Navigate to the properties of the gradient effect, open the preset menu and select save preset. Let's give it a name radial gradient and hit OK. All right, so I'm going to remove this clip. And now if you want to recreate this grid, you can grab a color clip from your project bin, then go to the effects window, apply the Cairo gradient effect, and now we can open the preset menu and select radial gradient. Let's also pick a different color this time. And once you have your gradient, you can add another color clip on the second video track. Next, navigate to the effects window and search for grid. As you can see, now we have access to our custom grid effect. So let's apply it to the clip. And finally, go to the timeline, click on this point to add a composition over your clips and change the composition type to screen. So that's one way to make the entire process quicker. And now we're going to create a vertical version of this grid, which you can use in short form videos. Okay, let's start by clicking on the project tab in the top menu and opening the project settings. Next, unfold this menu with custom project presets and pick any of these vertical ones. Um, I'm going to select HD 30 frames per second and hit OK. And let me also increase the size of the viewer. So once again, we're going to create a new color clip. Make sure to pick the black color and set the duration to whatever you like. I'll go with 30 seconds. Drag the clip into your timeline and then go to the effects window. Search for Cairo gradient and apply the effect to your clip. Let's go ahead and change the pattern type to radial 
then drag the start Y slider all the way to the right and set the value of end Y to something around 30%. Next, increase the end opacity to 100% and then slightly take down the value of start opacity. Again, something like 30% looks fine. And finally, you can change the end color to whatever you want. So I'm going to pick red. And now we're going to create the grid. Grab the color clip from the project bin and drag it into the second video track. Then go to the effects window, search for draw grid and apply it to your clip. Let's start by changing the color to white. And now we can adjust the look of the grid by moving these sliders. I'm going to use the same values as previously. So I'll set the width and height to 120. And then I'll change the X and Y offset to 60. Once you're done, go back to your timeline and add a composition over your clips by clicking on this point right here. Next, change the composition type from wipe to screen to put the green over the gradient background. All right, let's select the top clip, navigate to the effects window, search for glow and drag it into the effects stack. Now you can increase the blur value to something in the range of 80 to 90. Let's go back to the effects window and search for one more effect, that is vignette. Apply it to your clip and increase the value of aspect ratio to darken the edges of the grid and finally take down the softness slider down to something between 550 and 560. All right, and now if you want to animate this background, you can scroll up in the effect stack until you see the draw grid effect. Then move your playhead to the very end of your clip, click on this stopwatch to add a keyframe, and move the Y offset slider to change the position of the grid. And now if you go ahead and start the playback, you will see that you get this cool animated background that you can use in your short form videos. You can also save all these effects as a preset so that you can reuse this grid in the future and have the ability to change the background colors. For example, next time you make a video, you can change this red color to blue or green, whatever suits your preferences. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.